Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Also welcome to another episode of Getting Ready for the Craft Fair in Acraft 2023. Today I will make various kind of back handles that are made from the synthetic leather. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. In the past few days, I've been cutting fabrics for about 40 pieces of large and small bags. Each of these bags requires a certain type of handles which I'll be preparing for all of them today. This is the material I use, a polyurethane leather or a PU leather with a thickness of 2 mm. These three earth tones are the color that I use the most because they are easy to match with every fabrics that I have. And if you guys want to know more about the tools and the type of thread that I use, you can watch the complete tutorial on this channel on how to make the back handles from the synthetic leather. I will cut the fabric on the floor. For this many bags, I only need one yard of the PU leather. I cut it into two pieces and glue them together. I apply the glue roughly because I needed to just temporarily hold it. The main power is the sewing. After that, I cut it with the strap cutter, and then cut again as needed. I am using the leather punch to get a nice U-shape on the end of the straps. After cutting, I will now sew the straps, but before that, I first apply the sewing oil or you can also use the baby oil so that the sewing will run smoother. I am using the nylon 40S thread for all of these straps. Now let's sew the black straps. After all of the handles are sewn, we will paint it with a leather edge paint. I use a paint roller with a reservoir like this. The paint that I use is Sakura, but I don't know the name of the manufacturer. The bottles don't say anything, also I don't know if it's work with the genuine leather. The paint dries well in the sun, but since I'm working at night and indoors, I let it air dry for an hour or two. 
If you want a better and smoother edges, you can repeat the painting two or three times. And make sure to paint only when the previous layers are completely dry. But for now, I'm going to paint it only once. For the long straps, like this crossbody straps, I paint it in two steps. First, I will paint only half of it, then dry it. Once it dry, I continue to paint the other half. Then I'll wait again until it's all dry completely. And these are the results. Here I make the tote bag handles of many sizes. This is the type of handles that I use the most. Beside that, it can be easily modified into a handle like this, or like this. And this is the crossbody strap with a width of 2.5 cm and the length of 140 centimeters. And this one is the tiny straps for the drawstring bag that uses eyelets. I also make a lot of D-rings connectors. I use this for the sling type of bags or for a combination of tote bag handles like before. And these are the magnetic buttons. The stain from the paint can be removed easily by gently rubbing it with a soft cloth. Then this one is the straps for the keychains. It looks beautiful with these animal paw pendants. It is great for gifts or souvenirs. Now let's store everything in these boxes. And this is the remaining straps from my last making. Apart from the craft fair, some of these straps will become the stocks for my next projects. Well, that's it guys. 
I hope this video can give you an inspiration to make your own back handles. I will update how I install these straps to the bags I am making in the next video. Thank you for watching.